In a video prior to this one in this playlist, I was talking about how bytes are generally sufficient to store values that we want to store, or even shorts if you need a little bit more room, but rarely do we ever get close to using the full range of an int. So why, as programmers, do we always just type int, 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 int without thinking about it? We think more like int, I want a counting number that could be positive or negative, and most of the time you don't even want a negative one. You're just counting from i0 to 100 or something like that. And so why do we always type int? And it almost sounds like I'm saying, hey, we should type byte and we should type short, and let's be uh, smart about our types and use them correctly and not waste RAM. Think of the amount, amount of bytes that are wasted by just typing int. Several of them, I'm sure. Uh, I remember when I was a brand new programmer, we had a slide on a slide deck in one of my programming classes, and there was something very similar to this. There was all these data types, and I remember being overwhelmed, like, oh, 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 this hurts. I mean, this is a lot of, oh. And I asked the teacher, I said, okay, on the test, do we need to know all these and what they do and what the differences are, and blah, 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 blah. You know, when you're a brand new student, you kind of do that. Oh, do we really need to? And I was doing the same thing. Anyway. He said, oh no, heavens no, let's not worry about this. And I think one reason why he may or may not have understood it, but two, this stuff's kind of boring, all right? <laughs> I hate to say it, but do you really care? I mean, how often do you, do you really want to care about this? I don't. So I'll just type int. I'll type int, 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 int all day long and be happy and not worry about learning the intricacies of all these types and what they do. And if I need a floating point type, I'll type float. And rarely will I type double and char, bool, string. The, the, anyway, I usually generally do not stress it. Now let me show you a nuance of the C Sharp programming language that drives me nuts. And I'm not sure why they did this. I wish I knew. If you know, put it in the comments. But let me let me show you. I'm going to say byte my family how about num people in my family that's a little bit more readable let's say i have 10 okay byte num people in your family All right and i don't know how many people are in your family i'll guess 5 that might be a little high maybe 3 who knows and then i'm going to say byte let's combine our families so total people gets num people in my family plus the num people in your family wait for it red squiggly All right that's annoying what's the red oh, let me hover over here cannot implicitly convert type int to byte An explicit convert huh cannot convert type int to a byte i have a byte on the left i have a byte on the right last time i checked a byte plus a byte should return a byte isn't that true an int plus an int returns an int so why does a byte plus a byte return an int uh, not gonna type in the byte. What's going on? This is what drives me nuts. The C sharp language, for whatever reason, widens when it sees you using types that are narrower than an int, and you're using them in expressions. The C sharp compiler says, "Oh, I will widen the left value, and I will widen the right value to integer types." All right, the signed counterparts of byte, but Instead of using one byte, we'll use four bytes here and four bytes here, and then we'll do the addition, and the result of that expression will return an int. Okay? So widen to an int, widen to an int, an int plus an int returns an int, and if you want to assign that to a byte, that's fine, but you have to do it explicitly. Why on earth did the C sharp designers choose to do I I have no idea. I have some guesses. I have some guesses. One uh, generally, we're moving four bytes at a time, especially on a Win32 machine. So maybe that made sense. Let's just do it. But then I don't see the C-sharp designers really considering... Uh, well, one of the things about .NET is that it's abstract. You know, you don't know, really know what CPU you're running on. So it could be 32-bit, could be 64-bit, it could be 5-bit. We will abstract you away from that. And so I don't think my... Oh, did I say int there? I need to say byte, sorry. Uh, I don't think that answer there is the correct one. I have a second hunch. One, adding a byte plus a byte. Well, what's the maximum value of a byte if I draw our number line? Line here, we remember we start at zero, and then we can get up to 255, making a total of 256 values, including the zero. And, uh, well, let's see, 10 plus 3, here's 10, here's 3, right, 3, 
10. So 10 plus 3 would take us to 13, roughly here. But chances are, you know, maybe maybe you got 100 people in your family, and I got 200 people in my family. So if I put 100 way, I don't know, I'll guess 100 roughly out here, and then 200 will be roughly right here. Both values are legitimately in the range of a byte. But now that when we add our families together, all of a sudden 200 plus 100 takes us well out here to 300. I'll just put 300 out there, which is not in the range of a byte. So maybe, just maybe, the C sharp designers were thinking, yeah, there's a good chance that small numbers can turn into big numbers quickly. So let's just keep the information around for them, widen both the left operand and the right operand to 32 bit integer types, uh, do the operation, the addition as an int, and so we'll keep that 300 around. Sure enough, we're going to expand the range out to an int off the screen. You can't see. Uh, but then if they really want to bite back, then make them be explicit and do the bite. So, <laughs> you know, if I was in the room, if that is the reason behind this feature, which I'm not sure it is, but if that is the reason behind this feature, then uh, I tend to disagree. But we'll have to agree to disagree, and fine, I'll do the cast. You know, I don't even... I, I think at that point, when I figured out this nuance headache, I was just like, ah, forget it. I'm not going to deal with bites. You know, it's, I'll waste the room. You know, if I type int here, and I type int here, and I type int here, and then I, I don't need to do this cast anymore. And sure enough, I'm wasting away bytes. But who cares? I just want to be productive and get my job done. C sharp, please don't get in my way. All right, so I'm probably a little bit too passionate about this nuance of the language, but it is what it is, and next video.